Hi, I'm Jason from Digital Metal. This is Matt from Digital Metal. Uh, we had an interesting uh, R&D project come to us. There's a um, customer of Microsoft's that is interested in the Microsoft Band. They've got a pretty unique application that they need for it. Uh, they're going to buy 50 plus of these things and they want all the data from all of them to accumulate together onto kind of one big screen. Uh, one of the limitations that it, of the Microsoft Band is that it communicates over Bluetooth. And Bluetooth for each different uh, PC or device of any type that you're talking to, you can only have seven active devices uh, talking to, to each other at a single time. So one of the things that we did some research on is we found these really cool, very, very inexpensive kangaroo PCs. It's a $100 PC um, and a Windows 10. It's got it hooked up here. It took almost nothing to get it set up and working. And so for each one of these kangaroo PCs, you should be able to have seven Microsoft bands talking to it. Um, at any time, but since they're so cool and cheap and inexpensive, you could easily have seven or eight of these together. And once you get your, your kind of network of PCs and bands hooked up together, uh, you could federate all the data together into one endpoint to be able to show it all on the, on the screen. So we did just a very quick R&D application. It's just directly from the Microsoft um, Band SDK. There's just a little bit of enhancement. I'm wearing one band, um, that's wearing the other. Microsoft was cool enough to loan us all these equipment, two of the kangaroos and two of the Microsoft bands. Uh, knocked out this R&D application yesterday. It's right out of the SDK with just a little bit of addition. But when I run it, it just looks for all the different bands that's attached to it, which is currently mine and Matt's. Um, and this is just a heart rate monitor, which you could do the same with any of the sensors on it. And so we're just graphing it over time to show that we were connected to both of them. So you see mine spiked up and down there for a second as it started up. Matt's in red is up there at the top, pretty steady. Um, so this is a matches what mine says. Heart rate one up there says 78, mine's 78. This is zero, it's 70. So this is just going to graph over time for as long as we keep letting it do it. What it does is just pulls incrementally all the bands attached to it, asking for where the current heart rate is, puts it up on the chart. That might need to get up and down a little bit to say the show is changing. So one of the other things we wanted to do is make sure we did some kind of range test, uh, really more to test the kangaroo and its Bluetooth uh, adapter more than anything else. So down our stairs is probably about 30 feet uh, directionally from this, um, from this kangaroo. And we just wanted to see when it uh, dropped out showing Matt's heart rate and only shows mine. And probably about the time it gets to the bottom of the stairs, the next refresh will just be showing mine and not his. He'll kind of drop off the graph. Still going. You didn't make it far enough. You're graphing the whole time. Go out the front door. All right, so now it's just mine, right? Heart rate 171, which is what mine's reading. And I'll do that probably for another cycle before Matt comes back in. All right, now it pitches back up because I heard him coming back in. So that's it. So that worked good. Thank you very much. Um, I think that's all I wanted to show. These are super cool little PCs here. Uh, docking stations as part of them. So you can actually run it with just this top portion if you don't need the extra controls for the keyboard and the USB and stuff. and the, Microsoft bands are pretty cool too. We've enjoyed playing with those. Unfortunately, we need to return them, so that's why I wanted to go ahead and do the video. Um, and if anybody has any questions, hit me up in the comments.